it going? Do I look pretty? I don't know. Something's gone wrong with my drawing. Come over and take a look at it and tell me what's cuckoo. Are my nostrils that big? I don't hear that well. I like that touch. But there is something wrong with it. That appeal you usually give me is definitely missing. I must do something about my work. Only the other day I was drawing a pretty girl cigarette advertisement and I put a fire engine in her mouth instead of a cigarette. But that's the way some girls look nowadays. Why don't you start all over again? Be a beginner. Take lessons through the mail and nobody would know anything about it. Say, that's a very silly idea. And I fall for every silly idea. Cloudy! Yes, sir, Master Jefferson. Phone the Cuckoo Correspondence School and enroll me for their course in comic art right away. Yes, sir, Master Jefferson. And I want to complete the whole course in just a few minutes. Tell them to mail the lessons right away. And I'll go down to the post office and begin studying immediately. Yes, sir, Master Jefferson. Looks like I talked myself out of a job. Yes, you can go get yourself fat for a while. You as a student of the Cuckoo Correspondence School, Master Jefferson, and your first lessons are at the post office. Fine, Cloudy. Move my easel and stuff to the post office, arrange them in the lobby, and I'll study right there. Save time. Yes, sir, Master Jefferson. Gee, I don't look much like a correspondence school student. I'd better change my appearance a little. Say, it's a good thing I saved that old high school graduation suit of mine. What How those moths have grown. But Mr. Postmaster, he's only going to use the lobby for a while. He's going to start and finish the whole cuckoo corresponding school course in just a few minutes. But this is most unusual. By the time Moss Jefferson finishes with the lobby, you will discover you have said a mouthful of understatement. General delivery, sir. At your service, see? Any mail for me, General? How do you spell it, see? Well, it used to be Homer, capital H-O-M-E-R, Greek poets. Mm -hmm. Then we moved to Holland, and it became Hamer, capital H-A-M-E-R. Mm -hmm. But the wooden shoes hurt our feet. So we went to Scotland, where it became Mac Hamer, capital M-A-C, capital H-A-M-E-R. <laughs> then, after 300 years, we got our golf handicap down to 35, caught the Mayflower to America, and dropped the capital H, making it capital M-A-C-H-A-M-E-R, and now we can't pronounce it. Oh, Mackamer, I think we have a little mail for you, see? Two cents due on it, see? Oh, this pocket is so tight, I'll have to pay you some other time. Cloudy? Yes, sir, Mark Jefferson. Go through this and find my first lesson. I'd like to look at some mailboxes. Right away, sir. My name's Elsie. My name's Jeff, 5 East Minute Street. That's 62nd. Follow me, Jeff. Like a sleuth. <gasps> this is one of our most popular mailboxes, air conditioned the year round. Rest for 100 a month. Sorry, that's too small. I wear a 30 by 30 living room. I'm sure you like that one. It was leased for five years by a man who liked it so much he wrote letters to himself. Me, myself, and I are all in love with you. We all think you're wonderful. We do. Now, me, myself, and I have just one point of view. We're convinced there's no one else like you. the next mailbox, I'm breaking the lease. Oh, 
There's your first lesson, Mars Jefferson. Okay, Cloudy. Just pick out a dozen mailboxes, all in a bunch. Nothing fancy. Number two, Mark Jefferson. Details of lesson number two will be found in mailbox number seven. Cloudy, peak in number seven. Yes, sir, Mark Jefferson. Number seven, showing up lucky. On lesson number two, special delivery from the Cuckoo Correspondence School at Mr. Mackimer's service. He is to draw ahead of me. She's less than I, and I heard. Hold your head just like that and smile just a little. That's right. the next lesson. Lessons three and four in mailboxes nine and eleven. Cloudy, open nine and eleven. Now draw all of me in an evening gown with a gag. Crazy quilt. <laughs> well, Mr. Postmaster, does he get his cuckoo diploma? <laughs> He's got talent, all right. I'll give him a grade of 100% on his work if he'll agree to give me 10% of all he makes. He has one more hard lesson to do, though, before he gets his diploma. What is that lesson, sir? Won't tell him until the commencement exercises. I heard everything. Let's have the commencement exercises at my studio and a party. Cloudy, you hustle up some entertainment and some models. So long, see you at the studio. The boss gonna have a party down in the studio and he wants y'all to come down. I'm getting bubbly fed up with 
with Matt from Buzz's Holiday. Me too. I wish for a change he'd send us all a very formal invitation to stay home. I'm even getting tired of posing for him. All he does is stare at me and draw pictures. Cut it out. Cut it out. Getting your diploma okay? Yeah, in just a few minutes. The commencement exercises begin right away. <laughs> Quiet, girls. We're going to have some entertainment and a party. A whole cheese sandwich for you mini mice to nibble up among your... <laughs> now go sit down. This is your last lesson. Here are five dots. One for each foot, each hand, and a head. Now draw a comic with each thing in the right dot. Now you're on your own. I take great pleasure in presenting you with this... You are herewith appointed a member of the Cuckoo Correspondence School football squad. Football suit in box. Report immediately for game. <laughs> Postmaster, finish your speech to Cloudy. Give him the diploma. Wait a minute. You've got to draw a picture of me to prove you're all right again. In behalf of the Cuckoo Correspondence School in the Slapagatus. Right now, on this wall, I'll bring in the model. Model? Good night. Good night. 